this is quite neat. I saw this on eBay and thought, let's buy it and explore the mechanism in it. Because this is a switch socket and you get a couple of keys with it. And when you insert it in, there's a very distinct click at the end of travel. On and off. And what they've done here, and this is the clever bit, they've used standard components. They've used one of their standard socket modules and one of their standard clip-in switch modules. So this is a 20 amp switch, double pole switch. And when I rotate the key, you'll see it literally just this cam clicks the switch on and off. Very clever. And because it's a double pole, you put your live and neutral in here. It's a 20 amp switch and then it feeds the socket. And then you've got your two earth connections here that you can use. So I thought I'd have a go at picking it as one does, but rather than do it at the end of this video uh, and risk messing it up, I thought I'd maybe record it as a separate section of video. And as it is, I, I did it in the first take. So let me show you that right now. Okay, so let's have a go. I'm not the lock picking lawyer, so this may not go smoothly. It's currently on, turning it to off position. And I've already discovered that the tensioning bar doesn't really work in the normal way, so I'm going to put it in at the very front at the bottom instead and work down towards the pins with this. I think it's a wafer switch. Let's use the correct terminology. This is where I could say I'm getting a click in that, I get a click in that, but really no. It's just reckless bear smashing the lock pick in in random directions. Hoping to hit the magic combination. I think I've pushed some of them too far. Oh no, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't pushed them too far. Tensioning bar in. Lock rotates. We have power. So it is pickable. I do have to confess that that was not the easiest lock to pick, particularly not being able to put the tensioning bar down the normal position because it left no space to get the key in, but still doable. Now, I've also noticed something quite clever about this. It's in the off position. If you were to ease the socket off and try and poke something down to try and click the switch on, it doesn't work. You can't push the switch on because that stays in position against the other side of the switch and keeps it held off. That's quite clever as well. So all in all, it's very neat. It's very heavy too, but then you'd expect that. MK is one of the more luxurious electrical brands in the UK. And it's nice that they have just used these standard components. It's a very well-engineered socket. Very nice.